Hi everyone and welcome to the following of Vote3.Soul and now we're going to complete this smart contract and write its functions. So the first one is function vote u int 256 candidate id candidate id and uh, it's a public function that okay, starts here it will require that the candidate id be greater than zero and also we need the candidate id be less than equal candidate count otherwise we'll show to the user that uh, invalid candidate ID invalid candidate ID here we go and there's another requirement and require that the uh, that ha not has voted the candidate the person has not voted uh, the, the message the sender is not voted and otherwise will show to the user already voted So candidate is storage candidate, candidate storage candidate equals candidates with the candidate ID. Actually not uh, candidate's name, candidate's ID. So uh, candidate dot vote count plus plus. So candidate dot vote count plus plus. And also total votes plus plus. Total votes plus plus. And then has voted, the message sender has voted as the message sender equals to true. And then we'll emit the event, emit vote casted of the candidate ID. So uh, we have candidate ID and candidates ID, but uh, I think it's candidate ID here, yes. So if there is any place candidates ID, it, uh, it should be wrong. So here we have candidates ID, which is wrong. So there we go. So emit the uh, event vote casted, candidate ID, candidate that's name candidate dot name and candidates dot oh uh, actually this is message sender so message dot sender so this is just an event so with these two parameters the voter and the candidate ID here the voter is message sender and we have the candidate ID so don't forget about the semicolon and here we go so we've got another function which is for getting the candidate function uh, get candidate so gets the uint 256 candidate id 
public view returns public view returns u ints to 56 and string memory u ints to 56 so these are the three uh, these are these three uh, structs about the candidate struct parameters returns u int to 56 u int actually a string memory a string memory and u int 256 again so we'll open the bracket and we've got a function here it requires then the candidate id be greater than zero again and also candidates and uh, that uh, candidate id be uh, a smaller or equal to candidate count and uh, otherwise invalid candidate id so let's write the requirement the requi it requires that the candidate ID be greater than zero and we have double and here and candidates ID will be and by the way we've got another place candidates ID which I'm not, not sure where but we need to remove that because we have no place candidates ID You've only got the candidate ID, so whenever wherever you found it, uh, make sure you remove that one because we've only got the candidate ID, so not candidate ID. So uh, anyway, be a smaller equal than the candidate count. Candidates count. Actually, it's candidate count, right? So candidate count. So we'll fix all of these S's that are extra or not extra. Don't worry, but uh, keep that in mind that this is not S. So otherwise invalid, invalid candidate ID. Here we go and close the parentheses here not here so this is the first requirement and the second one here is candidate memory candidate so candidate memory candidate equals candidates candidate ID candidates of the candidates ID and then this will return the candidate ID candidate candidate dot ID candidate dot name and candidate dot vote now vote uh, count so candidate dot id candidates dot name candidate dot name and candidates dot vote count So here we go, let's save this and find the problem. So here is the candidate, candidate's memory candidate and candidates, uh, this shouldn't have any S. And here candidates count. So first of all, let's check candidate count, whether it's S or without S, so this is S. So candidates, count right so here we go let's save this one too candidates count this one is fine but uh, let's check what the exact problem is candidates name so undeclared identifier candidates names so 
here uh, let's check the candidates um, names here and here so what where we have got this candidates name so here instead of names we have ID not names so just here this is all right now let's save this again there seems to be uh, again another error so candidates ID all of them undeclared again so candidates here as well and candidates again here and here now let's save this and candidates here here and here candidates so let's give them all s's candidates wherever there is and here this is memory and after all it's been compl completely compiled and successful so now here we are ready for uh, deploying it so in the next part we will deploy this